Other dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And now on to another topic. This is an interesting time at Earth when um, when we are all humankind is rising to the notions of harmony and unity and oneness. So uh, it's a it's a thrill to be here on Earth at this time, isn't it? It's a wonderful experience, and uh, and so the only thing I suggest have to, to to mention is that as all of these um, denser energies come up to be to be clarified in the new light of new Earth, just just keep in mind, neutral mind, that you're the spectator. You're the spectator of these amazing energies coming up to be transformed with the light and dissolved. You're not the actor, okay? And, and I know it's hard because it, during these times of great clearing, like this gateway that's taking place this week, um, it's, um, it's, it's very easy to fall into a vivid waking dream. You know about those ascension symptoms, right? And it's, and it's, it's easy to like find it so seemingly true, seemingly real, as to actually forget yourself, you know, and just go along with the flow. And then other people join in on the, on the psychic plane, the clear plane. And everybody's thinking that it's true when, in fact, nothing is true about it at all. You know, it's just, um, it's just a great dream that everyone's having. And in fact, that whoever is able to, to do so is releasing by placing awareness on the fact that it's, it's only a vivid waking dream. I have one other thing to talk about with regard to solar events such as this gateway that's just been experienced and in fact the energy of which hasn't quite died down yet. Uh, and that has to do with um, being safe. Being safe in uh, an environment where people use automobiles to travel in quite frequently. Um, I noticed on the astral plane during this 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 recent gateway, which lasted about a, you know a week altogether, um, that there were several events of vivid daydreams, collective unconscious daydreams, that involved um, vehicular accidents, um, uh, and so the notion of accidents. Uh, happens when we're receiving uh, upgrades of light through through the solar events such as um, it doesn't just apply to gateways which are points between like two solar eclipses that's a good example and as I understand it other events also but I'm not the expert on that and it also happens with regard to coronal mass ejections that are earth directed and um, solar winds incoming to the magnetosphere of Earth, and uh, CIRs also, and for all I know, other solar events, but these are the ones that I'm familiar with. So, um, so these events happen, <clears throat> and the electromagnetics uh, of Earth become more, more turbulent, and Consequently, our electromagnetic fields become more turbulent. And the turbulence that's happening affects our cells. And our cells feel endangered. And, in, and so they feel that an accident might be happening. Of course, this is not true. We're getting upgrades. We're getting upgrades of our energy fields and of our DNA codes and we're we're clearing out the old detritus from our soul field. So, but to the cells, it feels like accidents are happening. And so, that's what accounts for the ideation. The um, uh, some people call it mass hysteria, but I feel that's a very unfair term. It's more like vivid waking dreams that we all have. It's, that other term is far too negative. We're having these vivid waking dreams because of incoming stimuli, in this case electromagnetic, right, that are affecting lots of people. 
And so lots of people feel a little bit unsafe. And, and they express that through vivid waking dreams that, that present the emotion that is being felt in, at a cellular level. Okay. So, um, so anyway, to get on with um, an account about the Gateway on Sunday, um, I found what I found on Sunday was that my electromagnetic magnetic field as a result of the gateway that was taking place was too changeable and variable, too, um, too uh, in the process of upgrade at that time to allow me to become involved with other people's electromagnetic fields, which were also in a state of flux. So, um, so I was driving, and uh, I was out, out driving, and I was considering, you know, being with people. And then I found that the energies were such that uh, it was much easier to, to accept the downloads and the upgrades and so forth um, in a solitary place, a quiet place. So I was heading back home. And what I found were two incidents uh, on the same street, which is a pretty quiet secondary street, of cars having been hit that were parked by the curve. Apparently the preceding night, the, the night before, the, um, the solar e eclipse actually occurred. In one case, it looked like the car was parked by the curb, and, um, and, uh, and another car came and kind of grazed along the driver's side of the car, leaving it like all dented. And when I went by, there was a man outside taking a picture of the damage that had been done, presumably to his car. So I know that was like a very recent event. So then my eyes were wide open with regard to that because I was correlating that to, to, the, to the things that I had seen on the astral plane, which, which in a way can, can preview what's going to be unfolding as danger in the physical world uh, if people are too greatly affected and don't pay attention to their intuition and stay home when they need to and re rest and relax. So my eyes were wide open and I was still going down the street and some blocks further on, I also ran into, on the same side of the road, I ran into um, a new car. I mean, I didn't run into it, but I saw a new car that had been parked by this same kind of curb, but uh, someone had actually run, dire run directly into the back of it, and it had popped up onto the curb, and the, the back of it was kind of collapsed in, and the front of it was kind of collapsed in from, being, from hitting the car in front of it. And I have to say that these accidents, they stood out in my mind as unprecedented, really. I've never really seen situations like that before in in the area that I live in. So so from this I would gather and I would advise that during solar events, I'm sure you're all keeping track of solar events right now, either through spaceweather.com or um, you might find them in the Light Intel articles in sandrawalter.com, her website, and uh, or elsewhere. Peggy Black uh, has been keeping track of solar events on her Facebook page, so you could find them there too. And, and so I'm sure you have a calendar. And during those times, I would suggest limiting vehicular travel. That means you have to have some supplies at home so that you have something to eat and plenty to drink and so forth. So that's all I have on this topic for you right now. A very happy gateway experience to everyone everywhere on Earth. It's, it's been incredibly successful and Every being on Earth has benefited from it, and all of Earth herself. The very heart of Earth herself has benefited from it. It's new life on new Earth that we're finding now, and all of the wonders of it have yet to be revealed, little by little, for everyone here.